Did you just get a brand new Porlex grinder and you're not sure how to get started with it? We're going to show you exactly how to get the best possible coffee grind today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in today and let's talk about how to get the best grind out of your Porlex grinder. We're going to be talking in this video how to hit the sweet spot for the most common grinds that you're going to be looking to use with your grinder. That's going to include Turkish, Espresso, AeroPress, Pour Over, Cold Brew, Chemex, and of course, our favorite, French Press. At the end of this video, we'll be talking about how to troubleshoot your grind, because it's important to remember that your grind type also needs to coincide with how long you're going to be brewing your coffee. That's very important. You're going to want to use the right grind with the right amount of brewing time, and that way you're going to get a great cup. You'll notice that I have two Porlex grinders in front of me today. I've got the Porlex Mini 2 and the Porlex Tall. Now these both have the same mechanism inside of them, and so I'm going to be using the Porlex Mini to show you how to do these different grind types. When you open up your box for your Porlex grinder and put it all together, it's going to look just like this with the handle attached to the top. And then we're going to talk first about zeroing out the uh, grind settings. So in order to do that, we're just going to remove the bottom of the grinder. That's where all of our ground coffee is going to go. And when we say zero out, this means that we're going to tighten up our grind selection here until it stops turning. And so I'm keeping the handle on and I just turn this in a clockwise fashion until it won't turn. Don't force it, just turn it until it stops. And that means that your grinder is now zeroed out. This means that you're going to have very little space right here, which means that your burrs are not going to be able to turn very easily. And then from there, you can start making your adjustments for your grind. So from here, we will be making our adjustments to our grind settings and therefore giving us more space in between the burrs and the body of the Porlex grinder. Each turn, each click that we make uh, going in a counterclockwise fashion is going to add 37 microns onto the spacing of those burrs. And therefore, that is how we're going to adjust our grind size. To start off with the finest grind that we can do with the Porlex grinder, we're going to aim for a sweet spot of about 74 microns for a Turkish grind. That's very, very fine. And so in order to hit that sweet spot, we're just going to turn to a counterclockwise motion twice. That's going to give us about the sweet spot of 74 microns. You can go all the way up to a total of four clicks all the way on the counterclockwise. Somewhere within there will give you about the perfect Turkish grind. Now that you know how the clicks work, and each click, of course, is going to add 37 microns, you can now use our handy chart, which you will find in the description of this video, in order to coincide with the proper number of clicks that you need to get the best possible grind. For espresso, you're going to be looking for a sweet spot of about 350 to 450 microns, and so you're looking at 9 to 12 clicks starting from zero on your grinder. For AeroPress, which is one of my favorite ways of brewing coffee, we're looking for a sweet spot of about 550 to 650 microns, and that's going to be equal to 15 to 18 clicks starting from zero on your grinder. For pour over, V60, or drip, you're going to be looking at about 800 to 950 microns, and for that setting, you're going to be looking at 22 to 25 clicks starting from zero. For Chemex, we're looking at 1,100 to 1,300 microns, and we're looking at 31 to 35 total clicks starting from zero. For cold brew, you're looking at 1,300 to 1,500 microns, and that'll be equal to 36 to 40 clicks starting from zero on your grinder. For French press, you're looking at 1,550 or 1,750 microns, and that is equal to 42 to 48 clicks starting from zero. And now let's take a look at the difference between a Turkish grind and a French press grind. And you can see the drastic difference between the ultra fine setting for Turkish and the more coarse setting that you would use for French press. So you can see right here the drastic difference between the Turkish, which is very fine, and then the French press, which of course is much more coarse. Now that you know how to adjust the settings on your grinder, let's talk about troubleshooting. 
Firstly, if your coffee is tasting under-extracted, so if it tastes like tea, it's very watery, doesn't have a whole lot of flavor, then what you'll want to do is increase your brew time and allow your coffee to steep for a little bit longer or decrease your grind size. Now on the flip side of that, if your coffee tastes over-extracted, it's bitter, it just doesn't taste good overall, it's maybe a little too heavy to taste, then you're going to want to do the opposite of that and you'll want to decrease your brew time or you can increase your grind size. And that's pretty much it. It's fairly straightforward. Brewing with a hand grinder does take a little bit of getting used to. Keep in mind that the smaller the grind size, the longer it's going to take to grind that coffee. But you will find that you'll be able to get a very accurate grind type and you can start to dial in your favorite type of grind as you get to know your new grinder. Now, I hope that we've covered everything that is going to be helpful to you in your at-home coffee shop here today. But if you have questions or comments, if we missed anything, make sure to leave a comment down the comment section of this video or visit us on French Press Coffee. And don't forget that handy grind chart can be found uh, on our website as well. So I hope that that helps you to get a great cup of coffee when you're using your Porlex grinder. As always, everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. So did you like that video? Well, if so, give us a like, maybe subscribe to our channel. And if you do, I'll give you a great coffee quote. Okay, I'll wait. There you go. Thank you so much. And now for the great quote, caffeine, it's not a drug, it's a vitamin.